Hi everyone, today's video is another in my Inktober and Halloween series. This one was day 31 and the theme was dragon. Honestly, for Halloween, I really don't understand why they included dragon for the theme. I can only assume that the person ran out of ideas, but I don't know. For me, I personally don't see dragon as something that's very Halloween-like. It's very fantasy or Eastern culture. It doesn't really have anything to do with Halloween to me. But I wanted to try it anyway because it was a challenge, but... It was like very intimidating for me. I, I definitely put it off. Like this is the only Inktober that I did a day or two after Halloween, but I did have plans um, right around Halloween. So that's another reason why I put it off. But yeah, it was difficult and I wasn't sure what to do. Originally, I was thinking maybe make a dragon woman or um, should I just draw a dragon rider? So in the end, I went with the dragon writer idea and I tried my best to do like a real dragon. I looked up a lot of references, um, but I did my best to try not to copy any one dragon outright and try to do something on my own. But it was definitely difficult for me. It was my first dragon ever. And I was just really happy that when I showed the line art on Instagram, um, people responded really well to it. So... I was happy about that and maybe I'm on the right track but honestly coloring it was also super intimidating and because of that I put it off like a lot like all all portions of it like the watercolor was one of the last watercolors I did and then the color pencil was one of the last watercolor pencils I did because I just was like I don't know what to do with it next <laughs> I really wanted to get it like I really wanted the dragon to be like colorful but I wasn't sure what color to go for. Um, even here, I'm like putting blue and then I'm like, no, I don't like that. And then I'm, <laughs> I'll add yellow later. I really wasn't sure what colors that would work for it. Um, the easiest is probably girl because I thought she would be a typical like fantasy, old fashioned fantasy book cover girl um, wearing like leather pants and a leather vest and she's got her dragon hide gloves and well maybe not dragon hide because like she's riding a dragon wouldn't that be kind of bad anyway and um I gave her like cool fantasy hair and I made her um a red head with green eyes because I like that even though that's a little overused but whatever um so yeah another thing that I struggled with was the background um I the white splotches are because I thought I would add clouds and then I kind of messed that up a little bit and it just became like all oh, kind of weird looking I just kept telling myself later I would fix it with white gouache but I kind of wish at the end of it all that I had just left the the sky flat so it would have looked nicer in the end but now I know for next time maybe clouds are something I need to uh do a study on in the future so I can get it right. <laughs> um, but yeah, overall, I'm kind of happy with this piece, but I'm also of a mindset of it was a learning experience and maybe I'll draw more dragons in the future just to learn it a bit better. Um, yeah, and I think I covered everything. So for Inktober and Halloween, I only have one more speed paint to show you guys for that series. Um, here I'm starting the watercolor. Or the, wow, I already did the watercolor. Here I'm starting the color pencil. Um, so next Tuesday it should be up. It's going to be a longer video because I restarted the whole drawing. I would have liked this to be the last speed paint that I posted because it was the last drawing of the series. But... Because the other one I had to restart from the beginning, it's going to be a much longer video and I just didn't have time to um, post it today. So yeah, that one will be next week and then maybe I'll do an overview video and then I will be moving on to another series. And yeah, I also like during this part, I fussed with her hair a lot. It was, I was not happy with it, but in the end, it was okay. 
I just needed to add some contrast with the black. I am using three different colors of red here, like poppy red, crimson red, and Tuscan red. And I just found like I just couldn't get that contrast until I started adding black here. And then I was like, okay, it looks fine now. <laughs> um, and another thing I liked about this one was I really, really wanted the scales to be more colorful, but I'd already pretty much done blue and purple for like the outside scales for this dragon. So towards the end, I add a bit of chartreuse green to the tips of the scale, and I thought it looked just nice. It gave me a little bit of um, foreign color, so yeah. And here I'm filling in the stupid clouds. <laughs> this is why I wish I hadn't done that at all. And I'm using my watercolor pencils to like um, fill in some gaps. Sometimes the watercolor pencils are really even better than the color pencils, but then also I'm thinking to myself, why don't I just use watercolor again? Eh, whatever works, right? So, um, yeah, so the series will be over soon. Thank you guys so much for watching it up to this part. If you have any suggestions for what you would like to see in the future, let me know by leaving a comment below with what you would like to see. And if you like this video, do give me a thumbs up and I really appreciate it. <laughs> And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. Lots more videos in the future. And also, if you want to see these scans of any of these drawings, do check out my DeviantArt. Everything will be posted. Like, this this scan will be posted the same day this video goes up. And um, you can see photos and, like, works in progress and other things I'm not posting to YouTube on my Facebook, my Instagram, and my Twitter. And, yeah. So... Check those links out in the description below. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye. interested in gore so I deviated from the theme again but this time when I said it I'd done enough witches although I don't think you can ever have enough witches but <laughs>